In this video, I'm going to show you five different products that I think are perfect for using AI art to make and sell your products. And I used Kittle AI along with Printify, and I've got five different things to show you here. So welcome to testing AI products with me. I tried to be pretty diverse with what I am testing, including a mouse pad, a little accessory pouch, a canvas wrap, stickers, all this kind of stuff. So what we're going to do is go through and just look at each product, look at the quality, see how well the AI image rendered on this physical product. I'm going to show you the actual prompt that I use, the preset that I used in Kittle AI, and I'll even tell you how many times it took me to get it. So let's dive in. All right. So first up, we have the mouse pad here. And I will put it right here in front of the camera. And I mean, this is just absolutely stunning. I wanted to start with this one first because I mean, this is beautiful. Like there's, from what I can tell, absolutely no loss in quality. I mean, I love how intense the glow is on the lights coming from the windows. And you can even see it there in the pond. You can see the lights reflecting in the pond here. And I mean, it's just, I mean, it's like almost a perfect render. So what I used for this one, the prompt was a cozy cabin cottage in a magical forest with a little pond out front, moss growing on top of the cottage, warm glowing lights in the house, and warm anime colors. So as you can see, I mean, that basically did exactly <laughs> what I wanted. So obviously this was in the anime preset, the 16 by 9 ratio. So it was horizontal and I just blew it up to be the size that I needed for this. It only took me three different renders to get exactly what I wanted from this. And the size that I needed for Printify was 3,007. 71 by 2,599. I know very specific, all of those sizes are in Printify in those like products. So you can see exactly what you need to do. So that's exactly what I set the artboard to. I set it to this size. I generated the prompt. I blew it up printed it and this is exactly what came out and this is a 10 out of 10 i mean the mouse also like the mouse pad itself is just like super nice quality i mean super thick i love the stitching along here on the side 10 out of 10. <laughs> all right next up on the list is the canvas gallery wrap that you can see right here and what that means is that it wraps all the way around so this entire thing is actually a canvas as i move this across the light you can see that there's this kind of like woven stitching you can also tell that the the quality of this AI is really, really nice because there's like no pixelation or blurring. So the prompt that I used for this one was actually really, really simple. It's just a whiskey bottle with a whiskey glass next to it with an old fashioned cocktail in the glass. So I used the Art Deco style. The aspect I did for this was just one by one and it took me six renders to get exactly what I wanted. So there was a couple different ones that were giving me some pretty cool images, but it did take about six renders to get this this exact one that I want, but men I mentioned that I did only a one by one aspect ratio and I blew it up to the actual size that I needed for the artboard, which was 3000 by 2400. So that's a pretty big artboard size. And when I scaled it up, it did perfectly. You let me know what you think in the comments, but I think the canvas wrap with the AI art is a 10 out of 10. All right, next up, we went a little bit smaller with the vinyl sticker. I'll go ahead and put this right here for you to see. I mean, generally, you shouldn't have like any issues rendering AIR and using them as a sticker. It should be pretty simple. Uh, there's not a ton of, you know, pixelation that's probably going to happen considering stickers are super small unless you're trying to do something massive like a big banner. But what I did for this one, so the prompt for this one was an 80s style cassette tape with retro colors on the label again pretty simple and it did exactly what I wanted it to do obviously it looks a little bit weird with all of this paper because this is a sample order from Printify with the preset I actually selected none because I just said an 80s style so I put 80s style at the front cassette tape obviously it rendered that perfectly and then retro colors on the cassette tape I didn't need a preset I didn't feel like it needed one and the aspect ratio for this was a one by one uh, and it it did this with basically a white background around it so all I did was just remove the background and Kittle dropped it into Printify and it was perfect again I think AI art with really any vinyl or kiss cut sticker is gonna be a 10 out of 10 again you let me know down in the comments all right, it's time for one of my favorites, and that is the hardcover 
journal. I am super excited for how this came out. This was using the photography preset. The aspect ratio was 16 by 9, and this only took me one render to get out. So you can see this is entirely across the whole hardcover journal here. And as you can see, it's a lot of vintage ephemera stuff. You got a camera there. You've got some like yarn and some string, some tickets, some, some old nib looking things. And that's exactly what I wanted it to try. So the prompt for this one was a bunch of vintage scrapbooking ephemera like labels, tickets, stamps, cards all scattered about ink stains deep brown and red colors mixed with tan and black now all of those were pretty much uh with commas in between so for example it was like like labels comma tickets comma stamps comma cards all that kind of stuff again photography uh preset aspect ratio was 16 by 9 first render first try i mean it did such a good job i'll just kind of like pan through here so you can see i would say that there is just a little bit of slight Light pixelation maybe a little bit of slight blurring if I get here on the camera you can tell that there is a little bit of pixely blurriness I think across the the top highlights of the camera there maybe on some of the edges of some of the tickets this was blown up pretty big the size that I needed for this book the size that Printify wants is 4065 by 2850 I mean that is pretty massive again I rendered this in the 16 by 9 ratio just blew it up first render just popped it out blew it all the way up to that size and this was the result so generally if you're just looking at it without putting your eyeball straight up against one of the pieces I mean this is great I, I really do think that you could get some amazing you know amazing renders with AI for the art book covers especially if you're not going to blow it up and use one whole graphic for the entire book that was the test was I wanted to blow up the entire graphic and just use the image as the cover but you could easily just use a clip art style or create a graphic with one of the other presets remove the background and that could just be one element of your book cover which is not going to be an issue at all so I was really testing it to the max here and perhaps with a little sharpness over in the editing panel you could add some sharpness to this you could maybe even upscale it in another tool or eventually in our own upscaler tool uh, and you can just render full images as notebook covers uh, on printify that's pretty amazing so i would give this an 8 out of 10 just because of the slight blurring and the slight pixelation I can see on this. But still, I would be happy if I purchased this off of like Etsy or Amazon or something. I'd be pretty happy if this was the result that I came with because it's, again, the first render was exactly what I wanted. You let me know down in the comments. All right, it is time for the big test, the big reveal. What I was super excited to see was how the AI would render and print on fabric. This is an accessory bag here you can see there's this little zipper here go ahead and open that up you can see inside just an accessory bag it's pretty pretty simple but I wanted to see how well the AI art would be captured on woven fabric and you can see it's definitely some fabric here it is not uh, yeah there we go now you can see the kind of fibers and how the dye is integrating with the fibers in this fabric and as I turn this around I mean it did a phenomenal job maybe I should have done it like this here I'll turn it around like this so this was obviously a bunch of anime food that I wanted that's wrapping around the entire accessory bag so let's get into some details here so this was an accessory pouch on Printify and the prompt that I used for this was a top-down view of a wooden table full of delicious foods comma like ramen dumplings pork and other condiments and sauces the preset was anime obviously and the aspect ratio was 9 by 16 so vertical and the reason for that is in printify it wants a, a vertical render of whatever it is that you are going to print because this is like the top and this is like the bottom kind of you know what I mean like you could duplicate it if you want you could have the same design here and then have the same design here but essentially this kind of is like folded it's folded over so that's anyway that's why they wanted the vertical render so that's why I put in the prompt top-down view because if I had just said ramen food on a table it would have just perfectly given me like a like a forward facing aspect perspective that is not gonna work for this so I needed a top-down view 
to see all of the AI food, and that's exactly what happened. And I mean, I blew this up pretty big. This was a 1500 by 1950 artboard size, so 1500 wide by 1950 high, and it was almost really close to what the, the AI spit out in terms of size. And I mean, this just captured it beautifully. Like, I have no issues whatsoever. I mean, you can let me know in the comments if you're seeing any kind of like inconsistencies, but you can see the fabric really well here, and the AI anime art is, is absolutely stunning. So, there are the five products that I believe work super well with AI rendered art, especially from Kittle and especially from the Kittle version 2. You don't have to just make uh, graphics with t-shirts, you don't have to just make you know stickers you don't have to just make buttons or whatever you can use these really intense and very specific products again that was a mouse pad a canvas gallery wrap a kiss cut vinyl sticker a notebook and an accessory pouch all very very specific all very niche especially when you start mixing different styles but you let me know what you think of these products down in the comments let me know which one was your favorite I'm really torn between the mouse pad and the accessory pouch I think the accessory pouch was just uh, it was it, this is just so nice so nice so let me know what you think down in the comments if you haven't tried Kittle yet and you haven't tried Kittle AI go ahead and sign up using the link down in the description there's a promo code down there for you if you want to go ahead and sign up and try it to the full extent of course you can just get in there and try it for free you do have 20 one-time use free ai credits to use to see what you like uh, see if it's going to work for you and then go from there so thank you so much for watching and we will see you in the next video